What's up everyone, it's Charles Finch, the greatest villain expert. Well, so today I'm not going to do my usual villain videos, so I can take a break from that, but I will do some more, well, this week. So, today I will go through my Doctor Who DVD collection. Yes, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who, as you already know. You see, you've got the classic series, but I will do those when I'm when I've got when I get all of them Doctor Who classic DVDs classic ones I mean so starting off with we've got Doctor Who series one yes the best series uh, Rose is great the end of the world uh, not so much the Unquiet Dead oh god that's really boring Aliens of London and uh, World War Three good Dalek Fantastic. The Long Game? Yeah, not so much. Father's Day? Good. The Empty Child and the Doctor Dances? Oh, God. That, that, come on, that's way off. Boomtown? Yeah, not so much. But the, but the Series 1 finale, Bad Wolf and the Parting of the Ways? Uh, it's fantastic, actually. Yeah. Facing the Dalek Emperor. Dot 2, Series 2? Yeah. That's quite fun. The Christmas Invasion is great, and so is New Earth, and Tooth and Claw, but School Reunion and The Girl in the Fireplace, not so much. Oh, and The Return of the Cybermen, Rise of the Cybermen in the Age of Steel, fantastic. Uh, Idiot's Lantern, ah, oh, it's just too stupid. Uh, the Impossible Planet and the Saint and Pit, yeah, it's very good. But Love and Monsters and Fear Her, uh, not so good. Fear Her is just the worst. And, uh, but Army of Ghosts and Doomsday, the great s series 2 finale, introduces Torchwood. Yeah. Very good. Series 3. Yeah, uh, The Runaway Bride is great, introduces Catherine Tate as Donna Noble. Uh, and Smith and Jones introduces Freema Adjman as Martha Jones. And, yeah, uh, yeah, it's very good. Also, great finale with the Master. Series 4. Yeah, it's supposed to be the great series. Oh, and the Series 4 finale is great, having all the companions together. Starring with Sarah Jane Smith, Rose Tyler, Captain Jack Harkness, Mickey Smith, Jackie Tyler, Martha Jones, Donna Noble, Wilfred Mott, Luke Smith, Ianto Jones, and Gwen Cooper the lot. Fantastic. Yeah, and also the return of Daryl's played by Michael Bleach. Very good. The complete specials. Y yeah, the next Doctor is great. Planet of the Dead is horrible. So is the Waters of Mars. The End of Time, fantastic. But sad, sad ending for the Tenth Doctor's era. Yeah, in my opinion. Series five. We. Cool, and the eleventh Doctor's gr the eleventh hour is great. Matt Smith is great. The best scene is seeing all the Doctors in order, facing the Atraxi, that big eye alien. Uh, Victory of the Daleks is fantastic. Yeah, I am the Doctor, and you are the Daleks. Uh, uh, Amy's choice horrible. The Pandora opens the Big Bang. <sighs> yeah, seeing all the Doctors in order is quite great. Series 6. Yeah, no, I just can't get, well I did get into this one in the, the Wedding of River Song, but I just can't get into the other episodes. Series 7 Part 1. Asylum of the Daleks is fantastic. Dinosaurs on a spaceship. Yeah, it's quite fun. Uh, Town of Mercy, no, not really into the cowboy stuff. Series 7 Part 2, uh, yeah, it's quite good. So, uh, yeah, and Jenna Corman's great, but everyone says she hate, everyone hates her, and some who do like her. The name of the Doctor's great, we actually know who the Doctor's secret is. It was his, uh... Missing Incarnation, which is John Hurt, the War Doctor. 
which is uh, quite shocking when I saw that reveal. The Day of the Doctor, great movie. Yeah, three Doctors. Well, Stephen Moffat offered Chris Eccleston to return, but he uh, refused, so he has to... I thought it would be cool to see Eccleston meet his future successors, but he just rejected the role. The Time of the Doctor, Christmas special, yeah, sad, er sad era for Matt Smith. Well, okay, so he, so he, he, so the Eleventh Doctor is uh, at the end of his final incarnation, but the time was grant him new incarnations, new, I mean new regeneration cycle. Okay, which leads on to the Twelfth Doctor era with Pierre Capaldi. This is a poor series release. I mean, Kill the Moon was horrible because Clara's outburst against him was just because he shouldn't have left her. But the series 8 finale is great. Into the Dalek. Yes, I say it's alright. I'm not saying it's bad. Right. Series 9. Very good, in my opinion. First episodes was fantastic, so was uh, Under the Lake and uh, the Zygon Invasion, the Zygon Inversion, and Face the Raven, oh my god, that's, that's when we lost Clara Oswald. Oh, and uh, the Christmas special of the Husbands of River Songs, great, we actually get to meet Matt Lucas, who is finally in it, fantastic. The Return of Doctor Mysterio, it's great, fantastic. The Doctor actually meets a proper superhero. I wish he meets Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, all the lot. Yeah. S someday. I wish. Series 10 Part 1 introduces Pearl Mackie as the new companion. Um, which I would say former companion. She, well, she's not my favourite companion because everyone, for what everyone said she was. Yeah. But... Uh, I say that it's fantastic. Right. Series 10, Part 2. Yeah. Empress of Mars is great. These are the Eaters of Light. It's very good. Oh, and World Enough and Time and the Doctor Falls. The great battle. The final battle against the Cybermen. Oh, and the return of... John Sims Master as well, teaming up with his future self, Michelle Gomez as Missy. Uh, very good in my, comp in my uh, opinion. And last but not least, Doctor Who Twice Upon a Time. Yeah, got this yesterday. It's great, great, it's my favourite Christmas special of all time. Ever s since a month ago. My god. It's very cool. And we, have to, we get to see... All the we get to see David Bradley playing as the first Doctor. That was great. Oh yeah, and uh, the the tenth Doctor giving his speech. It's very uplifting. So that's my Doctor Who Modern Era DVD collection complete. And I hope I will get all the classic DVD collection, starting with the classic Doctor eras, and well. Peace out, people, and three words, no, four words, fantastic. Allons-y, Geronimo, and, yeah, the Twelfth Doctor's quote, shut up.